Hey you guys, it's your girl Tanya once again and I am back with another video. So today's video is going to be on the Marc Jacobs um, Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation with SPF 25. Um, I got a sample of this foundation um, when I ordered another foundation off of Sephora.com and so they sent me that. So I was like, okay, well... I really love the Genius Gel. That was like one of my most favorite foundations. And I thought, how about if I go ahead and see if how this one compares to that one. And if it's great, then I'll purchase it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. And also hit the bell so that way you know when I have new videos coming out. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me. You did not have to come to this channel, but you did. So thank you so very much. And my old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this foundation review. So to start off, I want to read a couple of things that Sephora website says about this foundation. So, it has medium coverage and it the finish is a natural finish. It says that it's good for all skin types. Um, and it has SPF of 25, but it does have some first to market flashback free SPF 25 for a youthful look. So, I'm excited to try that just off the strength that it's not going to give me flashback. And it's supposed to not, you know, sink into your fine lines, but it also has skincare benefits. So we will see if all of these things that they are claiming that it does really does that. So let's go ahead and get in. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin like I typically would do. I'm going to use the MAC Strobe Cream because I like dewy finishes. So I'm going to use that as my primer for today. And I've been using the lately as a primer. And it's also been giving me a little bit of extra hydration to the skin as well. Because I could always use that. Oh man. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead in with the foundation. So, the shade that I got was Deep Y500. Hopefully, this color works and it won't be too orange. So I'm going to spray my brush with a little Fix Plus. So I like to spray Fix Plus on my brush all the time when I apply makeups. So the color is not... Too bad. Um, it's a little darker than what I would probably use right now, but summertime I think this will be a, a perfect shade. This uh, line did come with a couple more shade um, ranges than the Genius Gel, I will say, because they only had three shades for us in the Genius Gel.
Hmm. Well, I didn't color correct or anything because I just wanted to see how the foundation was going to do on its own. And I feel like I could go in with... With a couple more, with just one more coat since it says it's buildable. Let's see. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling about this foundation quite yet. I'm just not sure. Finish wise, I will definitely say that this is a natural finish. It is a little darker than my body, clearly. Um. The finish is not bad. I'm just going to kind of go over it with my damp beauty blender. I, I feel like it's like showing every pore in my skin. And that I'm not feeling. So I'm just going to kind of go over it with my beauty blender a little bit. Let's see how that kind of makes it work a little bit. But, oh my gosh, I feel like I can see every pore in my skin. Not feeling that. So, another new product that I am going to be using today is the Age Rewind um, by Maybelline, Maybelline Concealer. They did come out with some deeper shades. So, I had this one, and this is in the tan. Is that what it's called? Yeah, tan. I do like the applicator on this and I'm glad they finally came out with I'm glad they finally came out with these shades for us in this foundation because I have been wanting to use this foundation for so long and could not because it just wasn't in our shade wasn't in the cards for us but now it is I'm not sure. I'm still just like really kind of looking at the this foundation still and I feel like it doesn't look bad on screen but in real life I'm feeling like girl this is not cute like not cute at all So the coverage isn't too bad. I didn't even use a corrector on this. I am going to go back in just because I'm a little extra when it comes to my concealers. I have like a little bit of... I put yeah. in my concealers. I just like a little bit of extra. Because I just like a little extra. have put on the rest of my concealer, powdered myself down, 
Um, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my thoughts and suggestions on this foundation. Be right back. So I am back with the overall look. Um, first off, let me just say, this is definitely not the Genius Gel. I feel like it looks really, really good on camera, but I don't feel like it looks that great in person. Like, I just don't feel like it is just everything. It's not. Um, definitely, color match is not bad. Um, not bad. I don't, I don't see that. Um, I do think it is a medium coverage. Do I think it's buildable? Um, I put on two coats and I feel like it's just kind of stayed where it was. It didn't really kind of cover up my dark areas by my mouth really good. Um, it was just average in my opinion. Um, would I say spend your coin on it? No. Do I feel like it is okay for mature skin? Mmm. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not my favorite foundation out of all the foundations that I have and have tried and, you know, tried on. And and it's just not there for me. Like, it's not, it doesn't give me Genius Gel vibes. Like, it's just, it just doesn't do it for me. So, I mean, I think it, it doesn't feel bad on the skin. It's not heavy on the skin. Um, let me take a picture and see if it has any flashback, since that's one of the claims that it says that it doesn't have. Every time I get oh okay here I took one so it didn't give me any flashback as you guys can see there's no flashback um so I guess that's one of the claims that it made that um you know that it doesn't have flashback and that's uh, that's a true statement I just don't really feel like this foundation is giving me everything that I need like I could go and get another foundation and be happy with it. This is not it for me, I don't feel. So, no, I feel like everybody's like on this bandwagon for this foundation and I'm just not there with it. So, that's the truth. I don't feel like it's heavy on the skin. It doesn't feel bad on the skin. Um, I, I do feel like it's not dried down though. I feel like it's still kind of wet and... You know, that could be from the primer that I use, but that's what I use, so, you know. Um, I'm just not, like, I don't know, let me just zoom in for you guys so you can guys can see it just a little bit better. So, I just feel like the foundation here around my mouth, I already see where it's kind of, kind of, creep into that line right there so that might not be good for us mature females because if it'll creep in that line if you have wrinkles or fine lines or anything like that into your skin that's gonna make that go into that that much more so we zoom out because y'all don't need to be all up in my business like that <laughs> so yeah I, I I'd say save your coin on this one for sure so, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.